I know that I cover The Sims quite a lot, but it's because most other places will not cover The Sims or will not cover The Sims in a negative light whatsoever. If you ever see a Sims news from PC Gamer or Kotaku or Polygon, it will always be the same sort of stuff. It will be like, oh, they introduced a new staircase. Or, oh, we tried to drown seven Sims, look how cool we are. It's never gonna actually talk about the issues inside the Sims community, the issues that Simmers have with the game itself, nor about the contrasting topics that happen between Simmers and get banned off the forums entirely. Like, my last Muslim thing, like, yeah, that got that got me banned again. I, I'm, I'm on average stay on banned for like two days and then I get banned again, despite never actually being rude. Normally I'm just labeled a troll and told to go away. Um, okay. But... James Turner is a Sims influencer, okay? And today we're talking about small issues. Small issues about how the game is not as advertised even to the influencers of the game, okay? I've, talking, I've talked about big issues quite a lot, about simulation lag and so forth. It's time to talk about the small issues, the so small quality of life issues that really shouldn't be slipping through a triple A title and should never be forgiven. He shows off a couple of um, game bugs, such as if you place a column, it will go higher up than what was shown until you move it and then this column will shrink again. He has shown such issues as if you are at the top floor making a photography of the sim and moved, move a tiny bit, move, move the camera a tiny bit, you fall through the floor and you can't get back up again. He has shown the issues about such things as the countertops that are the island counters where you're sitting. <coughs> that where you sit, that's where the developers put the drawers because they just copy-paste the regular counter and just kind of prolong the island counter a bit to make it like a bar sort of item where you sit. Meaning that this would be highly inconvenient if you were actually trying to use it functionally. There are other things such as counters that don't match. This is... One of these is a regular counter, one of these is, a, is an island counter. Colors are different, even though that's the same counter. If you look over here, you can actually see a line because one is darker blue and one is lighter blue. Once again, not something player can choose, for we no longer have color swatch swatches, and it's just something that goes through. Uh, this is an issue of a lighting bug in game that makes two items look like different colors even though they're not. Because this doesn't occur in sunlight. And most recently they have released a game pack and this is how they advertise. This is what sims they used as advertisement. And this is the sims that we see in game. The only one to match is the middle one. Because, get this, the advertisement company, the one that does the sims advertisers, advertisements, is a separate, like, group from the people that even make the NPCs in game. So what people show in the advertisements, what the company shows in the advertisements, they're not even working with the main guys to make sure that the information that they're showing is correct. So sims will be different, items will be different, colorings will be different, swatches will be different. <laughs> Even actions and animations. It goes as far as actions and animations being different in the advertisement than in the finished game. Because those two teams don't work each other. So you don't even know what you're gonna get when you're buying Sims. It has really been such a mess that it's sad that they don't even pay enough attention to get the small things right. 
Now, that that's a sad bit. And you you know, you, you want to hear something even sadder? They're still doing completely great with that. It's because we forgive. We forgive the big bugs. Some people go, I can't use speed 3 whatsoever, but that is completely fine because I can play in speed 1. We forgive the small things, such as the furniture being not what it's supposed to be. We forgive the intermediate things, such as advertisements not showing what we're actually getting in-game. We forgive it all, and I have to ask why. Why is it that the hyper-casual audience that plays The Sims is not paying attention to anything? Why is it that you can literally sell them poop on the stick and people will still buy? And why should this be normalized? This is why I really hope for a The Sims competitor. For something that I can buy and I can invest my time and money into. Because I don't... I don't want to support this, so I stopped. But there is absolutely no alternative. <laughs>